two years ago, I felt demotivated, had little drive, and I was tired all the time. And honestly, I just felt stuck. My testosterone levels were at 300 nanograms per deciliter. Yes, 300 nanograms per deciliter. For those that don't know, that's on the lower end of the testosterone scale. Now, it showed in my energy, my motivation, and even my confidence. But one day, I decided enough was enough, and I couldn't keep living like that. I needed a change. Um, so fast forward to now, my testosterone levels are at around 1,000 nanograms per deciliter, all done naturally, no shortcuts, no fancy supplements, just consistent changes that made all the difference. Today, I'm going to tell you exactly how I did it, and more importantly, you can too. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Kesh, and this is where we talk about optimizing your health, fitness, and energy naturally. Let's get into it. Step one, understanding testosterone. Let's start with the basics. Testosterone is a hormone that keeps men, well, feeling like men. Um, it's responsible for muscle growth, energy, confidence, um, mood, and even your libido. Now, normal levels can range, uh, like I said earlier, anywhere from the lower end, which is around 300 to 1,000 nanograms per deciliter. But when you're on the lower end of the range, you feel it. It's like you're running on half a tank. But that's where I was. I didn't know how much of an impact it was having on my day to day until I started doing something about it. Now, let me ask you this. Have you ever felt like no matter how hard you try or um, you know, you're constantly exhausted? Um, well, maybe you're putting in the effort at the gym, but then you're not seeing the results that you want. If that sounds familiar, it might be time to check your testosterone levels. I'll be linking in a blood testing service that you can use. Um, I'm not sponsored by them, um, but it's just the company that I use, so I'll link that in my description below. Step two, fixing my diet. Now, one of the first things I tackled was my diet, okay? It was eating a lot of processed food. I was eating a lot of processed food, actually. Um, easy meals, junk food, uh, you name it. So I sort of like flipped the script and I started focusing on whole uh, nutrient dense foods. Now, some of the biggest game changers are foods like organic eggs, fatty wild uh, Alaskan salmon rather than farm salmon, um, and nuts like Brazil nuts. Uh, why? Because um, they're packed with nutrients uh, that your body needs to produce testosterone like vitamin D. Uh, omega-3s and zinc. Now, here's some research to back it up. Uh, a study titled uh, The Effect of Vitamin D Supplementation on Testosterone Levels in Men published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism found that men with adequate vitamin D levels had significantly higher testosterone levels. Um, so something as simple as getting more vitamin D, whether through food, sunlight or even supplementation can make a real difference. I also made sure I was eating enough healthy fats every single day, well every morning. Now testosterone is derived from cholesterol so cutting out all fats can actually backfire. Um, so adding things like the eggs, the olive oil, the butters um, made a noticeable difference. Step three, lifting heavy. Next up was exercise. Um, I wasn't going to the gym uh, when I planned to. Uh, and when I was, I wasn't doing the right exercises. I shifted my focus to compound movements, things like squats, deadlifts, pull-ups, bench press. Um, and these exercises target multiple muscle groups. And according to research, okay, this is not just me telling you, there's research out there. Uh, they're proven to increase testosterone production. Uh, there's a study actually uh, titled Effects of Heavy Resistant Training on Serum Testosterone Levels uh, from the European Journal of Applied Physiology showed that lifting heavy weights, especially with compound movements, 
and it can lead to significant increases in testosterone levels. Now, let me tell you about the first time I did squats, I'll be honest, um, it was tough. I was lifting way less than I could um, and thought I could, um, but I stuck with it. And over time, uh, I just got stronger um, with consistency. I noticed not just physical changes, but a mental positive shift too, okay? Now, I feel more confident, okay? And I was more capable of um, pushing myself every single time I went to the gym. So if you're new to the gym, start small, okay? Focus on the form, the contraction of the muscle, okay? It's not just about lifting the weight, okay? And, you know, take your time, forget what other people think. Progress is all about um, consistency, not ego. Step four, prioritizing your sleep. Now, this one doesn't get enough um, attention, but sleep is a game changer. I used to still, I'm guilty of it, snacking, scrolling through my phone, um, waking up feeling like an absolute zombie, okay? Now, here's the thing. Sleep is when the body repairs, okay, itself and produces your hormones, your testosterone. Um, and a study titled Impact of Sleep Deprivation on Testosterone Levels in Young Healthy Men showed that men who slept only five hours a night saw their testosterone levels drop by as much as 15%. So on the flip side, getting seven to nine hours of quality sleep can naturally boost your testosterone levels. So one trick that worked for me was creating a bedtime routine. So I'd shut off all screens an hour before bed. Um, I'd dim the lights. Um, I'd do some reading. Now it sounds simple, but it made a huge difference. Another thing I started uh, doing was taking my sleep environment seriously. So blackout curtains, um, make sure the blinds are shut, a cool room temperature, and a good mattress. Just make sure that you sleep uh, you know, on a comfortable surface. Step five, managing stress. Now another big one. Um, when you're stressed, your body um, produces something called cortisol, which directly suppresses testosterone. Now, I used to let work and daily life overwhelm me, but when I started making time for stress management, whether it was meditating, you know, um, five to ten minutes a day, um, taking a walk, um, or even just writing down my thoughts, one thing that helped me, um, made a big difference, was planning my day uh, the night before. So, planning things out, it sounds basic, but having a clear plan made me feel more in control and less overwhelmed. Now, it's not about eliminating stress entirely, That that's just impossible. It's about managing, managing it in a way that doesn't take over your life, okay? Step six, avoiding endocrine disruptors. So, here's something I learned um, that completely surprised me. Um, everyday products can mess with your hormones. So, uh, things like plastics, skincare products, and even some household items. Well, actually, there's a lot of household items that contain endocrine disruptors. I made small changes like switching to glass containers to drink out of, um, to store my food in, um, and where I couldn't, I'd use, um, I'd avoid BPA-lined cans, and using natural um, sort of grooming products and minimizing that. Um, now, these are small tweaks, but they add up um, over time. Step seven, tracking progress. So one thing that kept me motivated was tracking my progress. I jot down small wins, um, like lifting a heavier weight. If I accomplish something positive at work, um, I'd write that down. Um, and they're all positive wins that make you feel good over time uh, by doing that. Uh, and it just, it, it recognises that hard work. Progress isn't always a straight line and that's okay. What matters is you're moving forward. And even if it's just one step at a time, um, you know, it, it's important that you sort of um, continue doing that. Uh, get sunlight, um, which is really important. Sunlight is really important. So in the morning, um, you know, even five to ten minutes of regular exposure helps regulate your uh, circadian rhythm. So boosting sleep, quality sleep, um, will then boost your testosterone. So consistency is key, okay? So none of these changes will work overnight. Uh, commit to the process and you'll see the results over time.
That's how I went from 300 to around 1000 nanograms per deciliter naturally, something that anyone can do. If this video helped you, um, hit that like button, subscribe for more tips and share it with someone who might need it.